If I had to sum up really what the heart of Rivers is for me is that I think all kids were born with a purpose. And to keep that intact is the mission here every day. Because if you think about your child when they used to run around at four or five years old with a cape tied around their neck, that's who they were. And they had to change when they went into a traditional school environment. And they had to adapt. And that's good. They got to live in the real world. But we want to give them that perfect mix between keeping that authentic little heart intact and living in the real world. And we do that here every day. And it's evident by these happy, motivated, great kids here. It's amazing. I've met so many friends and they all have a connection with me because we all pursue different passions and some even the same. So you really get to meet them and get to know them. Uh, I have two children. They were both in private school and public school. And in both arenas, the children were not academically stimulated whatsoever and socially just overwhelmed with the amount of work and also extracurricular activities. So. We were searching out other schools to see what would let them actually be a kid but still learn some things and have some fun. And that happens here because of the small class size, the way the teachers know our kids and know what they're doing. And another situation is if a child books something in LA or New York as an actor or a musician, they can be on set sometimes for two to six weeks. And we're able to keep all of their work flowing just with communications and the way our systems are set up here where they don't miss a beat. Well, last year, um, actually two years ago in eighth grade, um, I did a show on Broadway. And that having Rivers behind me was like the best thing that I could have possibly asked for. With working with them while I was in New York, having the availability to um, do my work um, up there even though I from here and go to school down here. The amazing thing about Rivers is that it provides all of us, especially our students, the opportunity to balance pursuing our passions with our other life responsibilities and so it's a joy to work with students who are so um, actively involved in things like athletics or drama or um, music. They don't really give up anything here because most of the kids are doing an, an activity that is not offered in a traditional school, whether it's equestrian, hockey, singing, dancing, and their peer group is usually in their passion field. When you have students that have a purpose and they're motivated and then you give them a teacher that loves them and cares about them and values what they do, you just have magic in the classroom. Kids will relate to each other and become, develop deeper relationships because they're engaged in a learning positive environment. I mean, I love to teach math, but if it was just for math, it would not be enough. It's really the students. And when we come to Rivers, found a group of uh, students who are really uh, eager to learn. Uh, I think most of them are really driven. And uh, so it's a fun environment to teach because they really want to learn. And that's, uh, you know, as a teacher, I can't think of anything better than that. When I was researching how to develop the program here at Rivers Academy, I found that only about three and a half hours of a day are used for instruction. And I was like, the light bulb went on because I knew we could get it done. So we meet Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 8, 10 to 1245. And we deliver a complete honors AP nationally accredited program and get all the college prep graduation requirements met. And our kids are getting into their first choice colleges. The parents, the teachers, the students are all working together to make sure that this is an engaging environment for our students. Um, and as cliche as it sounds, the kids love to go to school. It's really important here for families to understand that they're going to get their life back and with their kid. And they're going to be sitting at a dinner table at 6 o'clock. And their child's going to be done with their homework and done with their practice. And had a complete full day. And guess what else? They're going to go to bed and they're going to sleep. And when your kid's rested and happy and balanced, they're going to perform better in every aspect of their life. 